and welcome to your great human adventure. I'm Dr. Michelle Petticola, founder of Secrets of Life and Death and Second Chance Secrets, sharing with you in short videos how to master the four superpowers of having a great human adventure. Last time, which was almost a week ago, well, actually, it was more than a week ago, I talked about brilliance, which is your true self. It is your, who you really are and why you're here in this three-dimensional plane. Today, I'm going to be talking about body. But since I'm out here in New Mexico at a spiritual retreat, I'm going to talk about the connection or the way in which you can create that connection between the body and spirit. And one of the best ways is to go off to a spiritual retreat, a place where you have an opportunity to slow down, to really get into your senses, into your awareness, into your body, in a place where you're not pushing all the time. You're allowed to relax. And in this particular retreat, you're allowed to lose some weight too, which helps you to get into those amazing, exalted states that are available when you connect to spirit. Spirit is a higher vibration. Spirit is a connection to the all, to the whole universe. And what better way to do that than in nature? At a spiritual retreat, which in this particular case, takes you away from most of technology. Okay, so I have a cell phone. That's why I'm able to do this. But the connection is very spotty. I won't even be able to send this to you maybe until later on during the day. So what else can I say? At this particular spiritual retreat, which I have been going to for hmm, almost 40 years, almost 40 years, can you believe it? It's a place where the food is very simple. The community is wonderful. Right now, this time around, it's very small because of the pandemic. Very few people, a lot of people used to come from Europe and they're not able to, to fly to the United States right now. So it's very small, very simple, exquisite, and lots of time to just sit and be by yourself. Also, the activities that we do, we have two workshops a day, include slow movement, breathing, chanting, and dance. And then, of course, on your own time, you can do hiking and walking. And one of the things that my husband and I have been doing is we go out into the forest and we take photographs of beautiful flowers. And we've been having a lot of fun doing that every morning, early in the morning, getting that early morning light. So it's a little bit later now, but I wanted you to see the beautiful surroundings. I'm in a little tiny hut, which is barely big enough for one mattress and a bookcase to keep my clothing on. And it's so simple. And the food is so simple. And the time expands. Although I have to say it actually is going very quickly because this is already into my second week here. What I'm inviting you to do is to connect to spirit, to get away to a retreat, to a place that gets you, takes you off the grid, takes you out of technology and into the moment. Technology takes you away. It involves you with and overwhelms you with all kinds of information. I know periodically I check my email and I go delete, 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 because I just, I'm communicating with very few people right now. It's all person to person in the moment. And after the pandemic, it's the perfect, the perfect activity for getting in touch with higher mind and allowing the body to relax and connect with spirit. That's all I have for today. Be brilliant, 
Take care and until next time, bye for now.